Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I would like to show you how to enable your SMTP settings on the server. Now, this function is really useful because this function allows you to send certain alerting or errors from Magic Info Server to your email. Now, in order for this to be activated, you first have to set up your email address and verify it on Magic Info Server. So how are we gonna do this? Make sure you're signed in as a server administrator. Head over to settings. Click on server management and click on server settings. Here you will get to see all the options that you can enable or disable and some settings you can dive into in order to see what kind of alerting suits you best. Now, if you scroll down, you will here see the SMTP server. In order to enable all the alerting, you have to tick this box in order for the emails to be sent from Magic Info to your email address. So what do you need to do? In our case, we're using a Google server. You have to make sure the server address has been adjusted accordingly. So in this case, smtp.gmail.com. Fill in the email address and fill in the password and the port that your email is running on. Also make sure to tick the box if you're using an SSL certificate and if you want to enable separate settings. Now along with this goes the alarm mailing service. This is a similar process. You can enable it and you can select certain days of the week. You wish Magic Info to run a test to see if everything is still working fine. And you can here select the retention period. So how often alarm mailing service to email you. Now, in addition to that, there is also the external server management. For example, if you have connected a data link server or an edge server to your account, you can here enable if you wish to receive any notifications. But also make sure that you enable the SMTP settings before you start enabling the other options. Now, there are many more possibilities when it comes to the alerting. So make sure to take a look at this yourself and select what is applicable for yourself in your own installation because this will only work on your own installation and not if you're making use of our cloud environment. And this is how to work with the SMTP settings and how to enable it for your own server. Thanks for watching.